Namaste Yogi and Yoginis. This is Sumedha and Indian Yoga Girl. Let's all come sit in a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Completely relax yourself. Relax your shoulders. Relax your complete body here. Roll your shoulders back and down. Your hands are in Chin Mudra with the index finger and the thumb touching each other. The other three fingers are straight and they are resting onto your thighs. Make no effort to control the breath. Simply breathe naturally. Focus your attention just on the inhalation and exhalation. Focus your attention on the breath and how the body moves in each inhalation and each exhalation. Try to be a meditative in this inhalation and exhalation pose. Coming in a Namaskara Mudra here. And let's chant Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karvavahe Tejas Vinavahe Tamastuma Vedvrishamahe Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat From there, rub your hands, generate a nice heat. Place them onto your eyes and slowly open up. Let's all come in all fours. The alignment for this is one elbow and one hands. So the shoulders, the elbows and the wrist are in one line. You are taking an inhalation, looking up, chin up, chest up and exhale, round your spine, chin towards the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up, look up and exhale, chin towards the chest, inhale, exhale. Inhale, soften up your belly, look up. And exhale, contract your stomach. Inhale up. And round your spine, exhale. Contract your stomach as much as you can and slowly relax. Loosen up your stomach, look up, chin up, chest up and slowly chin towards the chest. 
from there sending your right leg back make your right leg straight and exhale knees to the forehead inhale bring the legs back point your toes look up and exhale knees towards the forehead slowly take an inhale extend your leg look up make your knees straight and exhale knees touching towards the forehead stay and then take an inhale again look up chin up chest up extend your legs and exhale knees touching towards your forehead stay and from there again extend your legs make your knees straight make your ankles straight toes straight and from there balance and bring your left hand straight make your drishti a focus point and one point the hands are also straight the legs are also extended up stay over there for five for four for three for two back knee straight for one and exhale slowly bring your legs back inhale look up and exhale bring your chin towards the chest and slowly send your left leg straight and exhale knees to the forehead inhale stretch your left leg straight exhale knees to the forehead inhale lift your head up legs up exhale knees to the forehead inhale rise up again make your legs straight exhale inhale this time straighten up your legs stay over there look at one point and lift your hands up the right hand up for five for four for three for two and for one exhale release bring your hands down and your legs down slowly knees and from there push your hands and come back to the downward facing dog adho mukhishvanasana and then bringing your right leg outside your right hand bring your chest straight look up stay over there and exhale come back to downward facing dog again exhale bring your left leg outside your left hand slowly bring your thighs more down lift your chest more up look up open up your chest and exhale bring your legs back to a downward facing dog inhale again bring your right leg outside your right hand open up your chest bring your back of your knee down look up and exhale again back to the downward facing dog exhale slowly left leg outside your left hand open up lift your chest up look up stay over there and exhale come back to downward facing dog exhale there again bring your right leg outside your right hand stay feel the thighs here and exhale come to a downward facing dog and slowly bring the left leg outside your left hand bring your chest up make your chest straight spine straight look up and exhale slowly come back 
bringing your right leg again towards the right hand side outside your right palm and bring your right hand up towards the ceiling look up towards your thumb and exhale bring your hands down send your legs back slowly bring your left leg outside and raise your left hand up bend your left knee little bit more look up and exhale bring the hands down come back to downward facing dog adho mukhishvanasana exhale bringing your right hand again up inhale raise your right arms up look towards your thumb open up your shoulders here and exhale bring the hands down come back to the downward facing dog inhale and exhale bringing your left uh leg outside and left arms up look up stay bring hands up and exhale slowly bringing your legs back to downward facing dog last time taking an inhalation raising your hands up look up open up your shoulders and exhale left and slowly lift bringing your left hand up stay over there bringing your hands down and slowly bring your right leg outside your right hand stay over there hands on your waist look front look forward and slowly bringing your raising your chest and giving a baby back bend pushing your stomach forward open up your chest and then exhale bringing your hands down to forward fold knees are little bent the hands are inside bringing your buttocks little bit more down stay over there and slowly again rise up open up your chest sending your chest more back giving a little baby back bend look up and exhale slowly come down bringing your hands in between both of your hands and this time trying to bring the elbows down inhale rise up to hastathanasana and exhale slowly come down again bringing your elbows trying to touch on to the ground and bringing your hands on to your waist inhale rise up again open your chest lift your head up and back and slowly come down exhale bringing your elbows down last one bringing your hands on to your waist slowly coming up giving an arch to your back open up your chest look back go back stay back and slowly come forward bringing your elbows down touching your elbows onto your mat and slowly bring your hands down give a nice arch again onto your back open up your back and slowly bring your your hands open towards the samasthiti the toes and the heels are touching each other the shoulders are rolled back and relaxed and come back inhale raise up your hands to a hastathanasana and the forward fold pada hastasana bringing your hands towards the side look forward halfway up and then jump back or walk back to chaturanga dandasana uh Uh, low plank inhale scoop up your body lift up look up chin up and exhale to downward facing dog exhale three breaths here for one for one two three four and five slowly look forward in between your hands bend your knees jump back walk back 
and exhale to forward fold. Inhale, look up, raise your arms up, arch your back, look, inhale and exhale, come to a prayer position, bringing your hands towards the side. Again, inhale, raise your arms up to Hastathanasana, exhale, forward fold, bend down, inhale, look up to halfway, exhale, jump back or walk back to a Chaturanga Dandasana, lower plank, inhale, scoop up your body to upward facing dog, relaxing your shoulders, finding a space in between your neck and shoulders and exhale to the downward facing dog. Stretch your pelvic bones more up, try to bring your chest towards your thighs, raising your sitting bones a little bit more up. Stay over there for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Slowly look in between and jump back in between both of your hands to a forward fold. Exhale, try to bring your forehead close towards your shin bones and inhale, raise up your hands, rise up, give a nice back bend and exhale to a samastiti. Second one, bend your knees to an utkatasasana, a chair pose, raising your arms up and exhale forward fold. Inhale, look up, halfway up and exhale, jump back, walk back to a low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, scoop up your body and slowly come back to a downward facing dog, Adho Mukhishvanasana. From there, lifting your right leg up towards the ceiling and exhale right leg in between both of your arms to a Veer Padrasana 1. Exhale, slowly bringing your hands down, coming to a Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift, scoop up your body up, chest up, upper body up and exhale, downward facing dog. And slowly inhale, bring your left leg up and exhale, left leg in between both of your hands. Slowly inhale, raise both of your arms up and exhale, bringing your hands down to a Chaturanga three leg plank and inhale, rise up, scoop up your body. Exhale down to downward facing dog. And take a three breaths here. Exhale from your mouth. Look in between both of your hands. Bend your knees. And slowly jump back to an Utkatasasana, a chair pose. Look forward and slowly come to an Utkatasasana, a chair pose. Look up. And exhale to a samastiti. Inhale again back to a chair pose, bending your knees, bringing your hips more down and exhale, bringing your forehead touching towards your shin bones. Inhale, look forward, halfway up, spine straight. Exhale, plant your hands back, go back to a low plank Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale to an upward facing dog, look up and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your left, right leg up towards the ceiling and bring it in between both of your hands. Raise your both hands up towards the ceiling. Rise up high to a crescent lunge and exhale. Slowly plant your hands and come back to low plank. Inhale, rise up, upper body up, chin up and exhale to downward facing dog. 
Slowly inhale, bring your left leg up towards the ceiling and bringing your left leg in between, raising your both arms up towards the ceiling and exhale. Planting your hands, coming to a Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, scoop up your upper body up, upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Take three exhalation deep breaths here. Exhale through your mouth. Ha. 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 Look in between both of your hands. Bending your knees and slowly jump in between both of your hands. Look forward halfway up and exhale. Bring your forehead touching towards the shin. And from there, slowly come to an Utkatasasana chair pose. Raising both of your arms up. And exhale slowly, hands towards your sides. Make your spine straight, relax your shoulders. Focus on your breath. Completely let go. The weights are equally distributed in all four edges of your foot on both of the sides. Try to calm down. Try to calm down and relax your breath. Slowly open up your eyes. Inhale and exhale. And bringing in attention again back towards the body, interlocking back of your fingers. Open up your shoulders and slowly interlocked fingers coming up by you coming more down. Forward fold by raising your knuckles more up, trying to bring your forehead more down towards your shin bone. Raising your knuckles a little bit more higher. Feel the stretch on the back side of your legs and your thighs, making your sitting, sitting bones even lifted up more. Stay over there for five, for four, for three, for two, And for one. Slowly take, bring the body up. Energy is moving from down to up. Slowly come up and leave the hands. Come to a longer stance, forefoot towards the right hand side. The hands are onto your waist and bring the right leg straight and bend your knees. We are coming to a Virbhadrasana 2 here by opening your arms, opening your arms and you are looking towards your right hand side. Bend your knees a little bit more. Bend your knees, make sure your hands are straight and the knees are a little bit bent. Open up your arms. Look towards the index finger or the middle finger of your right. Experience your fingers. Experience opening up your hands a little bit more. Experience your shoulders. 
and your hips. Feel your hips. Do not give up. Bringing your knees a little bit more towards the front. Stay over there for five. Stay for four. For three. For two. And for one. Slowly shift your gaze from the front and bring your toes inside. Open up your body and exhale. Slowly bend your 90 degree, your left leg straight and the other leg is 45 degree angle. Make sure your knees are pointing towards the front. The knees and the ankles are in one line. The shoulders are wide open. Coming to a warrior two position. The outside arches of your right foot also be connected by giving a lot of weight onto the outside arches of your right foot. Stay over there. Stay over there. Look in the index finger or the middle finger of your left arm for five, for four, for three, for two. And one, bringing your hands onto your waist and coming in front of your mat. Coming in front of the mat and coming back to the samasthiti, catching up on your breath. Coming back and inhale, rise up high to a hastatanasana and exhale. And slowly forward fold. Bringing your hands towards the side and sending your right leg as back as possible. Left knee is folded. Your hands are onto your waist. Pushing your stomach more forward. Raising both of your arms up towards the ceiling. The left knee and the ankles are in one line. Raising your arms up. back of your knee is also straight and from there wrap your left arm besides from your back and raising your right arm up and exhale right arm down towards the right hand side lifting your left arm up Look up and exhale, slowly look forward, raise both of your arms up and come towards the side here with the four inches apart and exhale back again. Open up your shoulders towards the left. Open up a little bit more. And exhale, slowly bring your hands and forward fold. Bring back of your leg forward. And slowly halfway up, look halfway and then send your left leg back as back as possible inhale bring your hands onto your waist 
and slowly raise both of your arms up towards the ceiling. Rise up high and from there right arm wrapped from the back towards the left thigh. Raising your left arm up. Exhale, left arm down and right arm up, look up. Bringing your hands onto your waist, slowly raising both of your arms up towards the ceiling and open up, look towards your right this time. Open up your chest, the legs are still in the same position. You're opening your hands and your chest, your shoulders, your gazes and on the back of your thumb, the back hands of your thumb, stay for five, for four, three, for two and one. Bring your hands down, look forward and exhale to a downward facing dog. <sighs> exhale from your mouth. Three deep exhalation here before we move on to our next asana. Inhale, raise your right leg up towards the ceiling as up as possible. Rise up high, make your leg straight. Exhale, right leg outside your right hand. We call this as a runner's lunge. This is a beautiful position and an asana for the people who runs a lot. Bringing your uh, elbows a little bit more down. Don't compromise onto your legs. The elbows are down and stay over there. Feel the stretch. Feel the hamstring stretch. Feel the groin stretch. Feel the thighs here burning. Stay over there for five. For four. For three. Do not hold your breath do not hold any tension for two stay into this position stay for the longer pose a deeper pose for two And for one. From there, sending your legs back without compromising on your hands. We are having a shoulder plank here. Stay, stay over there. Squeeze your stomach more inside. Stay for five. For four, stay for three, for two, and for one. From there, slowly come back to a downward facing dog. Exhale here. You guys are very strong. Good job. Stay in this position. Quieten up your mind and quieten up your breath. Make a rhythmic breath. Inhale and exhale. And from there, raise your left leg up towards the ceiling as high as possible without rolling your hips. And exhale, left leg outside your left hand here. 
and slowly bring your elbows down bringing your elbows down the chest is little bit more forward looking forward stay over there for five focus on your belly button for four lower your hips a little bit more down for three for three for two and for one slowly sending your legs back the hands are still in the same position and we are doing an elbow plank here trying to bring your hips little bit more lower down stomach more squeezed in staying in this position for 10 for 9 for 8 for 7 for 6 for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Slowly come down, lie down onto your stomach. Relax onto your one side bringing your hands as if you are holding a pillow on your forehead and completely relax here finding this moment as a meditative moment connecting with yourself connecting with your breath connecting with your body Connecting with your thoughts. And from there, slowly prepare yourself for Dhanurasana, a bow pose. By bringing your hands back as if you are holding a water bottle, you are holding your ankles here. Try to hold your ankles as if you're holding a water bottle and slowly inhale and exhale and inhale bring your chest up straighten up your elbows kick your back of your heels more up bring your knees a little bit more up as if you are onto the softer part of your belly stay over there for five look up for four three two and one slowly bring your hands down and lie down onto one side of your neck come down relax yourself inhale and exhale and again let's prepare yourself again for dhanurasana for the second time by folding your back of your legs, folding your knees, holding your ankles as if you are holding a water bottle and slowly inhale and exhale, rise up, bring your chest up, look up. The more you would able to lift up, the more you would able to see up, the more you would able to lift up. Kicking back of your legs and slowly lie down. Bring your hands towards your sides, neck onto one side and completely relax. Let go.
finding a sukha and peace into this moment and slowly turning your body towards the back side and lie down lie down onto your mat and bring your right knee bringing your right knee closer towards your chest and from there slowly hug yourself and bringing your two from the two fingers hold your big toe and extend your right leg straight your left leg your left thighs and your left buttocks are straight you are bringing lifting your upper body up trying to bring your forehead touching towards your shin bones by pulling your legs more closer towards you and by bringing your forehead more closer towards your shin bones try not to lift your back of your hips more up or your left leg up stay over there extend stretch for 5 4 3 Two and for one. From there, bring your head down, back of your head down, and bring this right leg open up towards your head, and you are looking towards the left side. Hands are open. and extend your leg even more closer as if it's going to touch your head stay over there find an extension in your groin muscles find an extension onto your inner side of your thighs try to bring the back the heels and the toes down and inhale bring your legs again up on the top of your forehead and exhale extend your leg back lie down in a shavasana here relax here and then slowly prepare yourself for the left side from the two fingers you are holding your big toes extending your left leg straighten up make your legs straight and your hands straight and exhale slowly bring your forehead touching towards your shin pulling your legs more closer towards you and pushing your forehead more closer towards your shin bones stay over there every breath you are trying trying to connect your forehead towards your shin without compromising on to the leg which is down make sure your hips and your thighs are down on to the mat stay over there for 5 for 4 for 3 for 2 and 1 and exhale bring the head down back of your head down and open up your legs towards the sides here open up and look towards the left every exhale you are stretching your legs and bringing your toes more towards your hips for 5 for 4 for 3 for 2 and for one bringing your legs straight up and exhale leave the legs down relax yourself here catching up on your breath and slowly prepare yourself 
for Chakrasana. Try to bring your heels and the buttocks as close as possible. The knees are also together. Adjust your clips. Bring the fingers onto the back side of your shoulders and try to lift your buttocks up. Try to lift your middle back, upper back and your head up and stretch. Stay over there for five. Look down or towards your nose here for five. Bring your chest more forward and relax your head. Try to bring your legs more closer for three, for two and for one. Bringing your head, crown of your head just down. Stay over there. Prepare yourself to come back, rise up back again. Rise up high again. Stay over there. In the Chakrasana, get a little bit more stronger. Push your chest more forward for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. From there, slowly bring your bringing your head down preparing yourself again to come back to a chakrasana for the third time getting a little bit more stronger this time and exhale slowly rise up bringing your chest even more elevated up stay over there for five lift up your chest more for three get stronger a little bit more for two and for one, slowly chin towards the chest and very slowly come down. The head being first and the hips being more down. Hug yourself in a Pavan Muktasana, a wind relieving pose. Trying to bring your forehead in between your shin bones here. Completely hug yourself and rock and roll a little bit. And slowly come back, bringing your legs straight to uh, Paschimottanasana, raising both of the hands up towards the ceiling and exhale, slowly bringing your hands, touching the outer edges of your foot. Look up, chest up and then exhale, bring your elbows down and slowly bring your forehead down, touching towards your shin bones. Exhale here. Relax here. Stretch yourself a little bit more. Touch your forehead towards your shin bones. For five. For four. For three. For two. And for one, slowly. So this is such a beautiful stretch that I am getting extension from your back. And slowly I'm coming up, bringing your hands up, exhaling, hands slowly lie down. Lie down into Shavasana again. Relaxing your complete body here, letting go of everything, surrender to the practice. And then slowly prepare yourself for the shoulder stand. Bringing your hips up, holding from your back, raising your toes a little bit more up. Try to bring your chin towards the chest, having a jalanda bandha, a lock and the root lock as well. Extend your legs, push your thighs even more back, raising your toes a little bit more up. Stay over there for five, for four. Stretch up a little bit. Try to bring your hands even more down. Lifting your tailbone or back of your 
spine little bit more up for four, for three, for two. And for one, from there, slowly come to a halasana by bending your legs over your head and then trying to bring your toes touching towards the floor from the upside down. Every exhale, sending your toes more back. Relaxing your, making, interlocking your fingers and trying to bring your shoulder blades more together. Bringing your chin tucking towards your chest. And from there, slowly bringing your, interlocking your fingers, trying to extend your legs a little bit more back. For three, for two. And for one, support your back and slowly raise your legs up again to a shoulder stand, to a sarvangasana. Bending your knees, folding your knees and slowly coming down to, towards the fish pose here. Matsyandasana. You can bend your legs or you can come in a Padmasana here itself. Hold your toes, come, come onto your elbows and bring your head down, the crown of your head down. Lifting your elbows and lifting your chest a little bit more up. Holding your toes, making your elbows straight, bringing your knees even more down. Every exhale, try to relax your knees down and lifting your chest little bit more up. Your trishti is onto your nose here. Stay connected for five, for four, for three, for two and for one. Very slowly, bringing the legs, unfolding it, making the legs straight, adjusting yourself, adjusting your spine here. And slowly coming, preparing yourself for Shishasana, a head sand, a king of all asanas by interlocking your fingers, slowly walking towards your chest, making your legs straight, back is straight, bend one knee and then the other knee. And from there, slowly send your legs back first, making an extension from the groin muscles and then slowly raising the legs up. You can see my legs are a little bit more back. This is a little bit more stretchy towards the back, but your legs should be even more straight. The body should be even more straight here. Stay over there. Focus on your breath. Focus at one point. Here, the forehead is a little bit more down. The elbows are also extended. The elbows needs to come a little bit more closer. And your, instead of the forehead, your crown of the head should be more up. You need to lift up a little bit from more of your toes, engaging your core, engaging your upper body, engaging your shoulders, staying here. For five, four, for three, for two. And 
and for one. Slowly, with the control, prepare yourself to come down by bending your knees. Bending your knees, bring the knees down and come back to a child pose, a shashashankasana, balasana. Relaxing yourself, letting go here, surrendering yourself. And from there, slowly lie down onto your back, come back. Come back, adjust your hairs, come back to a Shavasana, final resting position. Adjust your clothes, adjust any other adjustments you need to do in terms of your body and in terms of your clothing. Completely surrender yourself. Let go. Relax yourself here in this moment, focusing on inhalation and exhalation. Try to melt your body down onto the floor. Experience. Experience as if a leaf is falling down from the tree. The similar way your body is completely sinking down onto your mat. There is nothing to hold back. Just give it back. Experience the lightness. Experience the lightness physically. Experience the lightness mentally. Whatever possible, just let go. Let go of everything. Relaxing yourself here. Now bring your attention to the nostrils as if the cool air is going inside your nostrils and you're exhaling warm air. Feel the breath. Experience the breath. Breath is the external manifestation of our prana. Let this prana flows rhythmically. Let this prana have no stoppages in between. Keep observing the breath.
prepare yourself to end this practice. Bring an attention back towards your physical body. Feel the relaxation. Feel the relaxation within you. Focus is still on the breath. Let you not entertain any thoughts. If the thoughts are coming, you are just be an observer. You are observing the thoughts. You are not entertaining. And you are not giving a label to your thoughts. Let the thoughts come and go as the clouds in the sky. It just comes and it disappears. And from there, slowly come back. From there, slowly come back to this physical body. Bring your toes and your fingers a little bit movement. Turn your neck towards the left and towards the right towards the left and towards the right and from there bring the legs together stretch your body stretch completely as if you just woke up you just woke up Stretch your arms and slowly come towards the right hand side and sit in. Push your hands, the right hand and slowly sit in a comfortable position with the eyes closed. Sit in a comfortable position with the eyes closed. Spine is straight. Your you are bringing interlocking your fingers and then exhale slowly bring your chin towards the chest making an extension from your elbows here trying to bring your chin towards the chest and completely relaxing here. We are not doing anything much. We are just trying to bring the chin towards the chest here. Bringing the elbow straight here. 
the chest is rising while the belly is going inside and chin is towards Staying over there, trying to bring your chin more touch towards the chest. Open up your chest, squeeze your stomach more inside, making your elbows more straight, bringing your chest even more forward, having a few subtle inhalation and exhalation, pushing your chest more forward by bringing your chin more touch towards your chest, squeezing your stomach even more tighter. And slowly exhale, relax. We are ending our practice. Coming to a chin mudra first here. Take a deep inhalation and exhalation. And come bring your hands in a namaskara mudra. A prayer position. Folding your hands. Take a deep inhale and exhale. And let's chant with me. Om Sarve Pavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Patrani Pashyantu Makas Chidukhabhav Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Shanti